Alright, so these boom boxes are all wired with a Bluetooth amplifier. And if I just play some music on my phone, and if I turn one of them on, it'll automatically connect. This is how we do and then this one's just got the lights on top as well. All right, so that's just a look at the different types here. And I think this type is the best because it's just the most simple with the one power switch right there. Doesn't have any lights, which makes it more complicated, the wiring, but it's still got everything you need for a boom box. So, I'll look at how to wire that setup. And then it's just a little bit different for these ones. Okay, when it comes to the wiring, I always start with the battery. And then I have this little notebook here to help explain it. You got your amplifier, this little um, charging panel comes with the red and the black wires like this. You got your charger over here, which got the red and the black. So that's kind of the basic overview is connecting the red and the black of all your components to your battery. So I start by taking these little connectors and hooking them up to the battery so that you can hook up several things easily. So to do that, I just get this spool of wire which is 16 gauge and you can just cut off a piece split it so you have your red and your black like this and then take just some standard connectors like these and um, you get something like this so it can slip onto these prongs on the battery so that's how to build the wire itself Okay, so now that the battery has a red and a black wire attached to it with these connectors, we can start hooking stuff up to it. And probably easiest to do the charger next because that's pretty straightforward. So the charger will plug into this sidewall port, which I've got a little drawing of here. So we got the battery and we just made that red and black line with the little connector boxes to it and then this is the side port what the charger will plug into okay so we got the side port and the side port has a red and a black wire to it which is this so we will not need this end so I just cut this end off won't really need that so just take a little bit off the end on the red and the black. Alright, so now we have the side port ready to plug into the connector boxes. Put that there. So red's looking good. And then black. Okay. So now, update the drawing. We just took the side port, we connected the black wire to the black box and the red wire to the red box. We just did that. So now we have a side port that's connected to the battery. We have the side port ready to charge the battery. So we'll just take the battery charger, plug it in like this, and then take your wall charger plug it into the wall and it's on lithium and it's charging okay so that's an easy thing to set up is your side port for recharging the battery okay the next easiest thing to do would be connect the speakers to the amplifier so this amp has two channels like a left and a right and it's labeled there and then on the speakers, the plus is the red one right there, and the 
minus is the black one. Put the wire in there and then uh, screw it down. So one speaker is like that, the other speaker is like that. To power the amp, this cord will just be plugged in to the back right there. There's a little power port. So if you wanted to just do this to test it out, you could just put the positive and the negative into these power boxes and you would know you would have constant power going to the amplifier. So let me just do that real quick to test it or show it coming on. But the actual wiring is a little bit more tricky because I have it tied into the switch on the side here. So the amp technically doesn't come on until this thing is turned on, which means that it would be tied into this right here. Okay, so now we have the battery hooked up to these connector boxes, red and black, through these wires. And to the connector boxes, we have the charger plugged into the wall so this battery is getting recharged and then we also have the amplifiers power cord connected to the red and black box so now the amplifier has power you can turn up the volume the speakers are plugged in to the amplifier right there that's the only wiring for those and this is basically the stereo main components it's working right now and the only thing that we need to do to um, set it up fully is incorporate this and this has a switch on it so this switch will allow us to turn on and off the amplifier with this to wire it you just connect all the positives together and connect all the negatives together but on the switch you're gonna run a line directly to the battery off this middle plug and then this would be the positive plug so you just connect positive 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 using this red wire and then black wire just connects the negative ones which are this yellowish color so connect that with the negative here connect it to there connect it to that one Okay, so now I got all the black wires hooked up to the negative prongs. And just like this diagram shows, this extra leg of the black wire will go back to the battery. So I'm going to hook that up right here into this connector box, which is going back to the battery. Alright, so here... I have the amplifier power cord tied into this panel which gets its power from the switch. We haven't hooked that part up yet. That's the last thing to hook up and it's going to be that center prong. And we have the power cord tied in there so the reds are connected there. The power cord also has this black wire which needs to go into the black connector box because it's just going back to the negative side of the battery so I'll put that in there I'm going to take this red wire and strip the end of it okay now I can hook it up straight to the battery right here with this connector box Let me plug this in here. Okay, so now that that's plugged in, you can see the switch has power. 12 volt socket if you want to plug in like an air inflator or something. And then this is probably mostly used for charging your phone. And now this amp power cord can just be plugged in here. And the amplifier will now have power, so I'll turn this on. All 
Alright, so this is the final drawing and with the switch panel now wired we hooked up all the positives together and all the negatives together we took the extra red wire and we connected it to a little connector box that could be tied into the amp cord so the amp gets its power from the switch panel and on the switch there's a power cord going back to the connector box for the battery so battery gives the power to the switch switch decides when the rest of the components can get power and the amp cord has a black wire going back the switch panel has a black wire going back so that's the final drawing and I also have this which I made for another occasion and I just want to show it's another visual of how to wire it everything starts with the battery it branches off into a red and a black connector box this is a fuse which I didn't mention until now but you can put a fuse here so from these boxes you have the charger connected to the red and the black you have the switch panel connected to the red and the black you have the amp tied into the switch panel and then you have the speakers hooked up to the amp so that's another visual of how to wire it along with this and that's it thank you very much